there. Welcome to another edition of Diversity of Urban Art. My name is Lynn Whipple. I'm here at my art studio, McRae Art Studios in Winter Park, Florida. And I wanted to share with you something that was invaluable to me as an artist, which is how to teach yourself new things. So what I've done over the years, about 22 years I've been an artist, I've done collage and drawing and painting and mixed media. I've shown around the country. I've taught workshops. But one thing I didn't have together was a way to make out art outdoors, which is something I love to do. I'd love to be outside. So I wanted to teach myself plein air painting. It was pretty tricky. I thought it was pretty tricky. Hardest thing I've ever done, just to be honest with you. So we have some lovely painters here in our studio who are fantastic and fantastic teachers. So they gave me lots of information, but the trick to anything new is to just do it. You just got to do it. So I'm here to show you uh, this is my theory. Anything you need to do, you just got to get started. You got to move your hands. And the way I did it was to be okay with the idea of at least 100 bad paintings. So I'm here, I'm, I'm going to show you a little stack of bad paintings. Just so you know, when you're learning, it's okay. The most exciting thing I can think of is being just a little bit past the thing I'm most excited about. And for me, learning is like, oh, you know, oh, I almost got it, I almost got it. You know, the thing that you already know, you're good, but the next thing is the most exciting thing. So in that vein, I'm going to show you some very bad paintings, just so it will give you the freedom to play and create and don't judge yourself. This is just part of the process. So that's a lovely painting, isn't it? No, not so much. But a lot of these, I put my heart and soul, I was playing with design and color and composition and brush stroke and every single thing that you can juggle in that particular art making experience, that's what I was doing. So some of these are working on a, some level, maybe just a little, some of them aren't working at all. Some of them are like this, I think I did like the first week and this is so horrifyingly gross, I don't even know what it is. So it's like, I think it's this way. But it was thick paint, you know, I showed up and I taught myself something. So don't look at that, don't look at that too long, it might hurt you. So all these are just uh, markers in my progress of something that I wanted to learn. So you can see I have a lot of them. This is in Carmel, California, very exciting place to go. I recommend it to anyone. Um, this is a paint by number. I did not do it, but I wish I did because I think it's very good looking. I just like them. But anything now, once you start to learn things, you want to study. So I had had a lot of information about different artists in my life, but I didn't really study painters. So that was another thing. I just started researching and Googling and, and coming up with books and things about this new thing I wanted to learn. So I would encourage you to do the same thing. There's lots of wonderful books about painting, uh, like anything. So I would say, but the most most important thing is to give yourself permission to play and to teach yourself. People don't have to see your bad paintings. You don't have to show them. You don't have to, yeah, that's not so good, right? No, you don't have to show anybody these, but, but without these, you can't get to the thing that you want. So I'm going to show you one that I sort of think I like fairly well, but I couldn't have got there without all these, you know, starts. Here's one more. That one's kind of not so bad. That's kind of cute. Those are around Park Avenue. So this one is one that I did. That all those little things I learned, I was able to put into this painting. And this is this is just the palm tree thing, but I really enjoyed doing it. And I had lots of different brush strokes and color, and I try to make it realistic, but not too realistic, because I want the feeling to come through. That's more important to me than being exact, uh, a total realist, which I don't think fits my personality. So. Anyway, this, was, uh, this, this may end up in the 100 bad paintings pile at some point, too, when they get better and better. But for now, I'm happy with this one. I guess that's all I have to say today. I think the most important thing is about giving yourself permission to play. Move your hands. That's all it's about. All right. Thanks so much for joining us for another edition of Diversity of Urban Art.